Greetings, Earthlings. Uh, we're going to talk a little today about mounting implements onto the G110 uh, Grillo tractors. Specifically, we're going to talk about a rotary plow. There's sometimes when you have a new tractor and a new rotary plow, the tolerances can be really tight, and sometimes it's difficult to get the locking pin to drop on the quick coupling. So we're going to uh, mount this thing up. As I said, this is a Grillo G110. This is a Berta rotary plow with an integrated quick coupling. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and mount them up. There is a little grease on the quick couplings, which is what you want. Go ahead and mount this thing up like this. It comes all the way back. I'm going to drop over the quick coupling pin, and I'm going to rotate the plow because the plow needs to be a little off center. It doesn't. It, the plow is not one of the implements that actually is centered when it's on the implement. It's actually rotated slightly. So I'm going to look around right there. So it dropped all the way down, as you can see. See how the quick hitch is there? See this slack in the pin? That's not all the way dropped. The pin is not in the hole. So I'm going to find the hole by rotating that until it drops all the way down. So that's good. Everything went fine there. Now, some people have difficulty achieving that because of various factors. One of the factors being if any foreign material at all gets between this surface here and this surface here, this is not going to go in this hole far enough because when this when this plow is fully bottomed out on the quick coupling female, which is this end, uh, this surface hits up against this, that is, it bottoms out. So if there's uh, any foreign material that gets in there, such as, uh, you know, dirt or grass or even extra paint that the factory sometimes puts on these quick couplings, it doesn't let this go in far enough for this pin to line up with this hole. So I'm going to demonstrate how sensitive it is. So old wrapper off of a gasket maker. So that's like a cereal box thickness cardboard. Look, it kind of wants to go in, but it won't go in because it's not going in. I've probably held that thing off ten thousandths of an inch, maybe twenty thousandths of an inch. It's not enough. You can't get it in there. Sometimes you can fight and wiggle and it looks, I mean, you can see it moving that pin around. It wants to go down in that hole, but it's not quite there. However, obviously, if I pull this foreign material out of here, come off of there, then it's going to go right in. There we go. So, make sure the surfaces are clean. Well, often, if you're running an implement, tiller, plow, mower, whatever, dirt will build up around this area because it gets thrown up there by the implement. And when you separate the tractor and the implement, that dirt falls down onto the male portion of the quick coupling. That is, that dirt will fall down into here, it can fall down on top, and if there's a little pile of dirt here, guess where that dirt ends up when you put the quick coupling on next time? It's sandwiched in there, and now it doesn't go on far enough. But it has happened that, as I mentioned earlier, the factory actually puts too much paint on this surface here. Sometimes they paint it very heavily. Uh, we usually try to take most of the paint off before they go out of here, but if, you're, if you, you've tried everything, if the surfaces are clean and you still can't get the pin to drop, take a big flat file. This is actually too small a flat file. I would use a much bigger one normally, but I didn't take the time to go get one. And just file this surface down. Just take a little more metal off of it. Uh, you know, remove paint if it happens to be there. You could do the same thing on this surface here, but it's a lot more difficult to do on the plow surface since this is kind of open and exposed. You can, you know, hold your, you know, just rub your file right across it like this and take off any material that might be there. Uh, if you do that, make sure to wipe out any sanding grit that might get in there or filing grit and re-grease it with a little multi-purpose grease. But that's it. I mean, as demonstrated in the rest of our quick coupling videos, most of using quick couplings is just a matter of leverage and physics. As you notice, I am taking this implement on and off the tractor with the tractor in the rear PTO mode. That is, the handlebars are over the implement. That's how you want to take almost every implement off, or I should say any implement that allows you to do so, you should take on and off the tractor with the handlebars in this mode. There's some implements that don't allow that because they're too tall. 
like chipper shredders and snow blowers and uh, hay rakes and so forth. But any implement you can, any implement that the handlebars will clear the top of, you want to get the off on and off the quick coupling in this fashion because it gives you uh, the opportunity to see what you're doing. You're on the right end of the tractor, you're not over there. And you can more easily counterbalance the engine weight by pushing down on the handlebars instead of lifting up on the handlebars on that side. So, that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck.